$600,000 in federal money helping to be the eyes of a local community. The city manager of Freeport says the city of 14,000 residents is considered a soft target for possible terrorism because of its major port. So in a matter of days, cameras are going to be active and are expected to help keep watch out for any possible criminal activity. Local 2's Mark Boyle in Freeport tonight to explain how this new security system works. Freeport city leaders say the cameras on these poles are expected to help drive crime down in this community. And in a matter of weeks, the city entrances will be under video surveillance. Dominic Brown lives near a neighborhood in Freeport where police will soon be able to watch 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, thanks to these high tech cameras. Every car that enters the neighborhood on Skinner and Avenue J will be recorded. They can watch now, but I mean, I don't think it's going to stop anything, but yeah, it's good they can watch it. The city says crime is one of the reasons the police chief went after a federal grant to help pay for the 14 cameras. They're posted in one neighborhood known for crime and at every main entrance to the city. What kind of crime do you guys have in this community? Um, ain't too big on things, but like just mostly drugs, a lot of, a lot of drugs that come through here. The cameras are on these poles at the main entrances to Freeport, including 288, 1495, and Highway 36. The video will be sent wirelessly to the police station where 911 dispatchers will be able to monitor the images at any time. There's also a special license plate recognition camera in place. If a car with a plate comes to the city that's listed on a wanted list, police will know right away. Say the vehicle is uh, listed as stolen, it, it'll get a hit from that. It'll send an alert to dispatch, and dispatch will get that notification. The city manager says Freeport could be considered vulnerable because of its international port, and these cameras could help prevent a possible threat. We think as we make ourselves not such a soft target, everybody benefits. Freeport is not alone. The city of Sugarland has cameras up like these as well. They too have the capability of running license plates of cars coming and going. And the chief of police expects all of the cameras in place right now to be online by the end of July. For now, reporting in Freeport, Mark Boyle, KPRC Local 2. And the Freeport Police Department is planning on applying for another federal grant just within the next few months to help pay for several more cameras.